All right, guys, welcome back to another Toe Piglet video. Today, I want to answer the question Should you start hotshot trucking with an older truck? If this is your first time here and you're interested in hotshot trucking, make sure you subscribe because that's all I do on this channel. Now, besides the general question that I get in the email of, hey, how do I start hotshot trucking or where do I start hotshot trucking? The second most common or most popular question that I get, hey man, I have this truck, is this a good truck to start with? And they attach a picture of the truck. So obviously people have older trucks out there, maybe they bought it for a different business or they've had it for a while. You know, trucks, uh, I think the trucks are the most, most common or most popular selling vehicle in the United States. So I understand where this question is coming from and I could see why it's the second most popular question that I get. But first, let's try to get some data, you guys. Who do we know right here on YouTube that started with an older truck? Uh, I don't know, maybe Truck and Travel? Uh, I don't know, maybe Dream Inspired? Uh, I don't know, maybe a new channel that you guys probably don't know about called Island Hot Shots. And that's not to mention the many owner operators I kn personally know that started with older trucks, okay? Yeah, yeah, but I have a bulletproof 6.0. Yeah, but I have a bulletproof 68 RFE that's rated for 40,000 pounds. Now, you guys could certainly say, Alex, that's only like five or six trucks, that's anecdotal data, and you'd be right. What you need to understand though, is that I really think there's a pattern here, okay? Now I'm putting it right around, if your truck is older than seven years, I mean, give or take a little bit, it's probably too old to take the daily abuses of hotshot trucking. Now, I'm not trying to pile on, but in my recent video, uh, it was titled Do You Even Squat Bro? I say like, oh, hey, this truck squats kind of a lot for not a very, not a whole bunch of weight. You know, it's surprisingly very little weight and it's squat kind of a lot. But I, I, I mentioned that because in the comments, someone wrote, oh, Alex, this truck isn't designed for commercial use day in, day out. It's actually designed for an older guy to tow his boat once a month or for him to tow his RV once, once a year or something like that. Now, I'm not so sure I agree with that 100%, but if my truck isn't designed for this, imagine older trucks, how much less capable they are. Think of the problem this creates for the company, regardless of whether it's your authority or you're leased under someone. Older trucks have a harder time of passing inspections and that ruins or affects your safety score. Older trucks are more likely to break down and that might cause you to be late on your loads. And that's definitely a surefire way to have a broker never work with you again. Older trucks don't look as good. And so when you're pulling up to the shipper, I highly doubt they're thinking, huh, you know what? We should definitely use this guy again. So to summarize, go out there and if you really wanna try this business, don't use your older truck, okay? Just go out there, grab a lease, or go trade it in, buy a new one. Uh, it's just, it's, it's legitimately not worth it to start out with an older truck. But you guys might be thinking, Alex, surely there's an older truck that you'd recommend, right? And you'd be right, there is. There is an older truck I, I'd recommend. And it's probably not what you're expecting though. But the only older truck I'd recommend is a paid off truck. That's it. The reason being is hopefully you have a little bit of money in the savings account that in case your older truck that's now paid off breaks down, you could quickly go resolve it either by fixing it fast or trading it in as is and cutting your losses and getting a new one or getting the lease. That's the only older truck I'd be okay with is if it's paid off. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below, is it okay to start with older trucks? Uh, I think for the most part, no. Um, but there are, you know, there's exceptions to every rule, obviously, but I look forward to hearing from you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.